my name is Danny Deliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. The communities we, s we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change. We're on to race seven now, it jumps at 16.10. It's the Bailey Turk grade three over 1400 meters cracking field here. Before we get into it, we've got an interview with Craig Udy and Rachel Finnegar. Strawberry Bear, yes, everyone's favorite. Everyone somehow loves him. Uh, big, strong boy, loves his work, loves the racing. And, uh, you know, he's a strong front runner. Uh, obviously, this is the best he's taken on, but we'll see how good he is, but he's very, very well. Gold Index uh, with the Blinkers last time won a really good race at Scottsville, accelerated very quickly and won very well. So we're expecting a, a big run from him, although it is a, a strong field. Imposing. He's a, a nice sword, three-year-old um, in the Bali Turk. I think he'll also be giving a good account. Um, his last start was a nice one. Aerial display, very disappointing last run. Found nothing with him. Working well, so we're hoping for just an improved run there. Number two, cousin Casey Rahil is all the rage and is an absolute class act. This three-year-old son of Vercingetrix, he's back in KwaZulu-Natal and I think he's going to run an absolute cracker. I do make this the horse to beat. Number two, cousin Casey comes from the inform yard of Glenn Cotson. Regular pilot Grant van Niekerk is aboard. This is a small field and I think they'll be looking to land this grade three easily. He does drop back in trip to 1400 meters, but he has done he has done well over this trip in the past. Main danger could be number seven, Jimmy Don, but I do think number two, Cousin Casey is going to take all the beating, but Jimmy Don will make him earn that victory. Yeah, Cousin Casey is back at the crime scene, uh, crime scene where he put his opposition to the sword and uh, he's a smashing horse. He's a top, top top quality three-year-old and um, apart from Charles Dickens I mean Cousin Casey would be the best three-year-old in the country but in saying that as you mentioned Jimmy Don he's gonna he's gonna make him run I just Don don't is in town. I, I, I don't feel Jimmy Don's in the same class as Cousin Casey obviously Cousin Casey's got bigger fish to fry the Hollywood best Durban July that's gonna probably be the main aim yes for the season and he does return off, off a 60 days since his last start, but even if he's 75% fit, I think he wins, and I think he wins well. He's drawn in gate two. He's got to concede five and a half kgs to Jimmy Don, his main rival, but I just feel over 1,400 meters, Cousin Casey is absolutely lethal. Jimmy Don, he's improved. He's coming along the right way. His last start in the SA Classic was an absolute cracking run behind Anfield's rocket, beaten a length, and uh, he's certainly a horse that's going to run very well here. Yeah. We've got the likes of Kitchakil. We know how honest he is. Gate 1, Keegan aboard, 54 kgs on the back. He's not quite in the same class as these two horses, mm. but he's sure to run a nice race. And then Rachel Vinica mentioned imposing. Another honest run can be expected. I can tell you that Strawberry Bear has been the runner that's attracted the money. 16 to 1, down 12 to 1. He's a smashing looking son of flying the flag. He's a big strapping individual. And uh, he's a horse that uh, could certainly make them all gallop here with just 54 on the back. If Tristan Goddard manages to get his fractions right up in front, he's a horse that uh, could try to lead them uh, a merry dance here. He's not quite in the same class as uh, these horses, but he could uh, run well. And then obviously Captain Casey is a horse that uh, we can't ignore. He's a horse that bet over slightly further, but 1400 he could be seen uh, to run into trifectas and quartets but i'm gonna banker the source cousin casey is a class package in the race and despite having to concede weight i think he's gonna take a power of beating for you you're gonna include jimmy don i'm gonna include both number two cousin casey and jimmy don i don't like to take any chances but having said that i am strong on number two cousin casey and i do believe that number seven jimmy don could be just having a pipe opener here in kwazulu natal maybe they're targeting uh Maybe he's got bigger fish to fry and they're targeting other things, but we, I'm not 100% sure of that. But uh, like you said, the last run in the Classic, it was an absolute cracker from Jimmy Don. So I'm not taking any chances. Number two, definitely the horse to beat, Cousin Casey, but I'm including numbers two and seven. 
Hi, I'm Trevor, the CEO of the SAME Foundation. The donation we received from Intubase helped us in procuring vital, life-saving medical equipment and PPE for Tigerberg and Huitaskia hospitals in the Western Cape. Um, this was while the Western Cape was the epicenter of the pandemic. If you'd like to get in touch or assist us in these projects, you can get hold of us on our website, which is www.samefoundation.org.za, Facebook and Instagram or LinkedIn.